Okay. In the Indian context, we have something called Indian systems of medicine or ISM. By Indian system of medicine, you mean what kind of medicines areas are practiced in India? This is known as Ayush, which basically stands for Ayurveda. Yunani, Yoga, which is one of the most frequently used, Siddha, Homeopathy, okay, and one more, which is Natural. So basically these are the six areas which are practiced. So you whenever you go normally which, were the, which are the ones that you use? You use the allopathy one. Homeopathy are the ones where you get these small medicines picked up in a box. Ayurveda is through herbs. Yoga is basically through Exercise. Yunani against is, which has formed from the people who came from Yunnan and settled in India, and so on. However, even despite the system of medicine, while there are some good colleges, like the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, which is in Delhi, and certain other institutes which are available for training of doctors, there is an urgent need to set up more training centers, training colleges. I mean today the one of the biggest problem that a country like India is suffering is of good medical health care. And wherever the good people are there who are providing good medical facilities, the number of people flow there is so high that it is extremely difficult for them to kind of manage this entire stuff. So as you set up more training colleges, and this is true for any other country, I mean, unless and until you have a large amount of training colleges which are good, which provide good facilities, create good doctors, the healthcare facilities cannot improve. Although one really needs to credit the fact that because of the fact that there has been significant improvement in the government and the private sector in terms of the healthcare facility that you provide, I mean, this medical institute, which is a government-owned institute, is considered to be the best and the safest place to go in India. So the question is not that it's not within the government framework to do good things. The problem is of how easy you can replicate these structures, how easy you can create maybe 100 institutes which have the caliber of like this, who can create a large number of doctors who can take care for the health facility. So from an economy perspective, it's extremely important that a medical system should be advanced.